The 3080 Ti. It's coming, it's here, it's happening. But how are you going to get a hold of it? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to try to give you guys some tips on how you can get the 3080 Ti on launch day. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys some tips and tricks that you can use to get the 3080 Ti on launch. Now guys, I've done a few videos just like this on different cards that have come out, but a lot of people have actually been waiting on this card, and today I'm gonna to be trying to help you guys out if you are interested in this card. Now, like I said, I've done videos just like this, and I've had plenty of people that have been successful and thank me for the tips and tricks that I've given them. So hopefully I can continue that trend and help somebody else out today to get this 3080 Ti on launch. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so here we are with some more tips and tricks and how you guys can hopefully get this 3080 Ti on launch. Now guys, some of you have heard some of these tricks before, but some things have changed and I'm gonna try to tighten it up and try to give some tips for these newer people that don't know. So here we get into this guys, and you guys have probably seen this before. I've talked about it before, but Distill I.O. Distill I.O. is going to be a Chrome extension that I've talked about before, and you used to be able to use this tracker on literally everything. It didn't matter what site you wanted to use it on, you could use it, didn't matter. Now, you cannot use this thing on Newegg, you cannot use this thing on Best Buy, so guys, keep this in mind, you do not want to get an IP band, don't try to use this on those sites but this thing is going to allow you guys to plug in a Chrome extension and be able to monitor a website. So let me give you guys a quick example. So after you get this thing installed, you'll just go ahead and plug it in, download the Chrome extension, and once you have that all together, you should have something that's going to look something like this. When you do have it all installed, you should have a Chrome extension up here that looks like a little teardrop, and what we're going to do starting off, we're going to go to a website, guys, like I said, just a quick reminder, don't try to use this on Newegg, don't try to use this on Best Buy. So we're going to try B&H Photo here. So in B&H Photo here, we're going to just put in RTX 3080. And so we got the Strix here, guys. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to go to the thing that you're wanting. So we're just going to look at the wide edition here in B&H Photo. And what you'll do is go up to your Chrome extension here, your little teardrop, you can select parts of the page. So what we're gonna do is select here where it says currently unavailable because that's what we're gonna wanna watch here. You're gonna wanna watch the part that is going to change on the page. So once we have that selected here, we're gonna actually go down here, save selection. And once we do, then you have the option to kinda edit it. So now you can have the Chrome extension actually ping this website every five seconds up to a day or never i don't know why you would do never but five seconds is going to be the shortest interval that you'll be able to do for free here and then you have a couple of options now you can have them actually send you an email you can have them do a little bell strike thing that you can listen to if you guys want whenever it happens it should if the, anything changes it doesn't say currently unavailable anymore should get a little sound like that and then from there, you should be able to go to the page, it should pop up. But if you want it to show up on the page automatically, pop up the actual web page that it's on, you have the option to do that too. Here in these actions, you can add different actions. Now, if you guys wanted to pay for it, there are paid options, like I said. They have text messages that they can send you as well, push notifications, Discord notifications if you wanna do that. You have some options if you want to go this route, but this is not something that is going to work on Newegg. This is not going to work on Best Buy, but other websites that sell any sort of graphics cards, guys, you can use this on there. Now, another tracker that you guys can use that will actually keep track of Best Buy and Newegg for you guys is going to be following certain discords. Now, here I have two different Discord channels that I actually follow myself. They've been pretty good for me. I do not recommend Brobot if you guys are familiar with this process. Brobot seems to just give out false notifications and continually sending them and there's nothing ever there. So I don't like to mess with Brobot. One of the discords I actually recommend you follow is going to be stockdrops.net. It's really easy to follow. Stockdrops.net's literally their 
URL, you can type that in, click join Discord, and you're in. It's gonna look just like this, guys. So when you've actually joined, guys, you have the option to actually customize this to how you want it and getting notifications for the things that you actually want notifications about. Now, for me particularly, I only want to hear about the 3080 and the PS5. So I have set it up that way. And when you initially join, they will send you a little message that will make you set up your notifications. And once you do, guys, they send out different announcements and different notifications for when stuff comes up. So here just two days ago, the one of the CPUs for BH Photo came out is what they got here. And they sent out the notification and you can just click a direct link to it, guys. And and hopefully if you're fast enough, you can go ahead and get in. So the second one I actually recommend to you guys is going to be ATR Stonks. This one is the first one that I actually followed before I started following stockdrops.net. And this one's been pretty good to me as well. A very similar setup for the last one, guys. You just come in here, you set up the notifications that you actually want to get. And well, then when you do, you should get them showing up, whatever it is you're looking for, 3060 Ti, whatever it is. And these things look up for Newegg and uh, Best Buy just the same. So. They keep you up to date pretty good, and if you're quick enough, you can click that link quick enough, you can definitely have some success. Now, one of the last ones I want to talk about is going to be Best Buy, because Best Buy has had one of the most predictable drops and has stayed within the retail MSRP, where so many have ventured off. It's kind of ridiculous. But Best Buy has stayed pretty good on the prices and they've stayed relatively consistent, dropping every 14 days. So how can you be successful buying on Best Buy? Well guys, let's go ahead and pull up Best Buy so I can try to make this as clean and cut for you guys as I can. Now if you're gonna be trying to get the 3080 Ti on launch through Best Buy or anytime, there's gonna be a couple of things that you're gonna wanna do on Best Buy before the launch. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have an account and have it signed in and set up. Now, when you do have this signed up, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your phone number set up to your account and you want to make sure that you are making it remember this device. Sign in at all times on this device. It is very important that you do that. And the reason that you're gonna wanna do that is because Whenever you get through the checkout process, it's going to want to verify that you are who you say you are. And when it does that, it's going to send a text message to you with a code and you're going to have to put that in. And when you go to put that in, if you are not signed into this device at all times and you go to check that, it's going to cycle and not actually push you through the checkout procedure and verify that you are who you are. It's going to just continually do that and never move on which is gonna screw you out of getting the card and speed is going to be everything here. So you do not wanna do that. Make sure you are signed into the device at all times. It's also gonna be worth your time to make sure you're signed into multiple browsers, doing the same thing throughout, continually. You're also gonna to wanna to have a PayPal account and you're going to want to be signed into your PayPal account during the pull time of you trying to get in to this uh, checkout. And there's gonna be a few reasons for that. And like I said, speed is going to be everything here. So the reason you're gonna want the PayPal account is because it's gonna be able to save your payment details and your shipping info. If you're sitting there trying to type in your payment details through Best Buy and then your shipping address and where you want it to go, you're wasting time and you're not going to get through the checkout process quickly. You want to be very fast when you're doing this. It is the only chance you have at getting what you want and getting through and being successful on launch. So make sure you are signed in, refreshing every five minutes, and you have the device trusted and signed in at all times. It is very important. If you do all these things, you have a very solid chance, a very solid chance at getting what you want. Now, one more thing to talk about when dealing with Best Buy, you may not be familiar with it, but Best Buy has actually taken some steps to try to thwart bots, and it's actually a fairly helpful process. But like I said, speed's going to be everything, so you need to make sure you do this right. Now, at the time of launch, this little sold out button here is not going to stay sold out. 
Now, when they do have stock coming, it will change to a coming soon. And what you're gonna wanna do when you hit this landing page is sit there and wait until it changes to add to cart. Now, if for some reason it does happen to be there already and say add to cart, what you're gonna wanna do is click add to cart. It will say, please wait. It will cycle that, please wait. You'll wait for it to actually show up. Keep your eye on it because you can easily miss this. Then add to cart again. And then once that happens, off to the races. Do everything that I told you before quickly check out and hopefully you're successful. They've done this to try to add like a kind of cue and a verifying that it's not a bot. So once again, it will say add to cart. You'll click add to cart the first time. Let it cycle. It'll say, please wait. It'll do its checks, put you in this little queue, and then you add to cart again once that button changes over and be quick. Be fast, fast, fast. Now, one last thing to actually consider when you're trying to get this 3080 Ti on launch is going to be your cell phone. Trying to use the cell phone browser or different apps and apps are what I actually recommend. Using the apps like Newegg's app or Best Buy's app to try to buy what it is you're after. And apps don't necessarily run on the same browser format and can be sometimes a little bit faster than actually using your PC to try to buy things. So definitely keep your phone as an option. I also recommend that you guys try to get a game plan and find out what model it is you want ahead of time and try to do your best to keep your eye on that. Trying to stay focused and tunneled in on one specific thing is going to help you be successful instead of trying to watch just anything that comes up. And it is what it is, guys. I wouldn't go for the most popular one if you're just trying to get anything because it's the most popular one and everybody else is going to be going for it. So cell phones, models, not popular. Now, for those of you that are fortunate enough to live somewhat close to a micro center, you guys are going to have the absolute best chance at getting 3080 Ti on launch day. Now, I've done a lot of praising on micro center throughout this whole GPU shortage because micro center has truly been the absolute goats when it comes to getting a hold of really any computer hardware. I've done a lot of talking about micro center and this is not my first time recommending them for getting graphics cards. And a lot of you guys have reached out to me telling me you had success or you planned on going and guys, I'm so glad that y'all have had success. And I'm hoping that you people that are wanting the 3080 Ti and live close are able to pull a win just like them. Now I do wanna be clear about something. You're not gonna be able to go to Micro Center right when the doors open and stroll in there and get the exact graphics card that you're after. And if you do, well, congratulations, and you should probably go get a lottery ticket as well because you got extremely lucky. You're gonna have to camp out because there are going to be so many people that are trying to get graphics cards just like you. And with this 3080 Ti launch, you can expect to see people there 48 hours at least before they open for that launch. So guys, be prepared to strap in and be camping because there's going to be plenty of people that are wanting this card. But Micro Center is going to be your best chance. And I do wanna reiterate that you are going to have to camp because a lot of people are going to. Now, success with Micro Center is definitely doable. And I definitely recommend them. The times that I've gone and I've had successes, I've shown up to Micro Center at 2.30 a.m. and stayed there all night until they open their doors at 10 a.m. Now, every location is not going to be the same. There's going to be different variables such as population, weather, and area that really decide on how many people are going to show up at what time. And to help you guys try to get a gauge on what you can expect for your specific Micro Center, I recommend checking out their unofficial Discord. And I'll throw a link in the description for you guys in case you wanna check that out. I recommend getting in there and asking some people and they're usually pretty helpful. Now, if you're watching this video and you're trying to get the 3080 Ti launch, I really do wish you luck. I hope that you get it. If you happen to get it, let me know guys. I wanna hear about it. And you know, I'd also appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. 
If you got some sort of value out of this, I hope you do consider hitting that like button, guys. It really does help my channel out so very much, and it tells YouTube that I'm a decent YouTuber, so I put my videos out there for more people to see. I do tech news, how-tos, reviews, and I truly do try to help out. That's gonna do it for the video. I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe, and if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.